Hello everyone, my name is Hasham. I'm the owner of Clemson Aeronautics, where we make the riveting and dimpling systems. Uh, today, I am uh, continuing on uh, on the horizontal stabilizer, and on page 806, uh, it's starting by telling us to um, pretty much straighten out our ribs and you guys know how to do that but the 905s we should take two of them and bend this out 10 degrees the aft flange you have to bend it out 10 degrees as far as the HS1004 what the manual practically say is you need to bend this flange 12 and a half degrees this way then bend the uh, rib itself from these two notches this way two and a half degrees so compound you find it is 10 degrees to match the bend in the uh, opened up uh, the back here I mean uh, this this flange here have to be bent 10 degrees out because of all these angles in the area where the uh, root is to the airplane after that on the same page page 8-06 is telling us to make four cradles to carry the horizontal stabilizer while we'll um, riveting it and so forth and said not to be very accurate it don't have to be very accurate because it does not affect the accuracy so what you're essentially doing taking uh, an HS905 and HS904 and click on them together and put them on a piece of plywood plotting it but give yourself extra room around it they're seeing an eighth of an inch around it and cut the plywood that shape then pad it inside with like duct tape or something so you don't scratch your uh, uh, skins while you're assembling the uh, horizontal stabilizer now on page 8-7 uh, we're supposed to do some assembly and some mesh drilling and uh, we're supposed to put the caps and the, the doubler back on the front spar so we can do that because we're doing um, some match drilling for the ribs and um, the the caps i think the best way to do it is put the caps click in the caps first then click with the doubler but when i did that um just just the point that i wanted to make real quick this stem is not the exact size of the hole so i put the cap on put the clico in let go with it does that mean that the holes are centered perfectly from the first clico well for me it didn't happen so i noticed that the holes uh, did not align as perfect as i would like it to be before i start doing some mesh drilling so i took my number 40 drill and i stuck it in here and it did not go through and I took my number 30 drill and stuck it in one of the number 30 holes and it did not go through and I, I filled with it quite a bit to, to figure out what, what's happening here and I wanted really to line up good before I put the uh, ribs in there to do some mesh drilling so I found the best way is to take all the clicos off again set the cap in place and take my number 40 drill and stick it in the middle hole that number uh, <coughs> the center hole 
in between the nine holes that we're supposed to countersink. So I put my drill in there. So it lined it up this way. I can check it out with one of the holes that's uh, number 30. And um, yeah, it is so lined up perfect to the point that the, my, my drill right, fell right through. So at that point, I would start putting my Clicos on. And um, right now, so let's say we put the Clicos at a distance to the far left or right. I can put it in from this side if I want to. It's not a big deal. I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about alignment here. So now, now this is aligned and it looks good. So I can put um, more Clicos on top and it will grab it in place at that point. So I'm happy about that. I already done um, the one on the top. This is the bottom. I had flipped it over to work on it, try and figure out what's going on. And then afterwards, we'll put the doubler and also try to line it up with a drill so everything would match perfectly before I put the flanges. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the ribs and do some uh, match drilling. And now that I put the caps in place and I'm sure it's in a perfect position, I need to put my doubler. Doubler, of course, we have these holes countersunk already. So we know that part is forward. And the nine hole groups is bottom. So we match them, we put, line them up. And again, I want to use a number 30 drill, kind of one of the middle holes to line up my, uh, my doubler. Then I will start using some Clicos to clank, clamp the doubler in place. drill is is matching up perfectly so it's working out good Okay, I think that will do. And now we're going to be clicking the nose rib uh, to the spar with the doubler and the caps. So uh, <coughs> this is marked left. Left is this way because this is forward of the airplane. I put the center uh, clico in and it is just to the right of those nine hole group and now it's time to put the HS1004 uh, rib in place again this is marked left and this is the left side of the aircraft so here we go I moved the Clicos from the outer holes to the inner holes uh, of the rib and it seems to make it lay down flat and the two little tabs right now doesn't have any Clicos in it. Uh, I think we have to work with that during the riveting time uh, to make sure that all of them are laying flush on the spar and the caps. 
Um, now all is left is to drill one hole in the middle of this rib that does not exist. We have to match drill it and we have to bring in a long drill for this one. I believe this is it for uh, match drilling. So, and I think uh, I have to look carefully, but I think it says to disassemble um, and deeper all these holes. Now that we are uh, finished with the match drilling and everything in the book, it talks about uh, having to mark five holes on each side. And this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.